found yourself wanting to nap today, the rainy weather may not have been the reason. As Sleep Awareness Week comes to an end, Six On Your Side reporter Naomi Hilmer spoke to a local sleep consultant to learn the importance of sleep health and what sleep disorders are most prominent here in East Tennessee. Good sleep equals good life. World Sleep Day challenges the misconception that sleep isn't a priority. Sleep is not time that's wasted of our life. Sleep is very critical for our brain and our body, our immune system. According to Dr. Hassan Nadrous at Pulmonary and Sleep Consultants, the most common sleep disorder in East Tennessee is insomnia. And unfortunately, it is uh, not addressed as it is supposed to because the, a lot of people accept it as a lifestyle and don't know that insomnia is associated with a lot of complications. He says insomnia can lead to an increased chance of high blood pressure, strokes, car accidents, and diabetes. And it can be brought on by a variety of reasons. You have to address the cause that is causing the insomnia from respiratory disorders to heart conditions, uh, arthritis, pain, all these problems can be seen. The best treatment for insomnia is cognitive behavioral therapy. A good start to this is what Nadrus calls good sleep hygiene, something anyone can practice. Because the whole environment of sleep is very important. This includes turning off all electronics, not reading before bed, keeping the room comfortable, and not trying to force yourself to fall asleep when you're not tired. My best advice to to everyone is don't be shy in presenting your sleep problem to your primary care doctor because if you don't talk about it it can go for many years undiagnosed and it can have serious health consequences. Dr. Nadrus also says keeping a constant sleep schedule throughout the week including weekends will help with better sleep. In Knoxville, Naomi Homer, WATE, six on your side. All right, Naomi, thank you. You heard Naomi uh, say to stay off electronic devices before bedtime. It's recommended you actually put those phones and tablets away at least one hour before you go to bed.